I've always wanted to say this. Good eye sport. And it is really a very, very good day to be in Australia. Because last night, the Lions beat the Wallabies. How happy am I? And we've got another good reason to be in Australia because we've got another all-conquering British product. The all-new Range Rover Sport and we're going to put it through its paces in the Outback. So for this very special test down under I've got myself a very special co-pilot to join me. I think you might just recognize him. Lawrence Delagio. Great to see you fella. Ben, how are you? I'm pretty good and as you can see we've got lots of similarities me and the big fella I've got to actually build him up a bit yet but first and foremost Lawrence is actually in a very good position to talk Range Rover because he is an owner by choice ladies and gentlemen I think it's time now to go and put the car and ourselves through our paces we're now going into my expertise as a former back and that's a little bit of running practice in open rugby are you ready Lawrence? I'm ready Ken we were born ready. Here we go. Let's do it. Very skillful passing there, Ken. I'm very impressed. Little dummy there. Hold on. Yeah, oh, that's it. Bit we're moving step. now. Bit of a side step. The pace is coming up. And scoring the try, please. Oh, we're down. Excellent. Yeah. It's going to tee this down here. Here you go. And uh, hold on. I'm doing the Johnny Wilkinson here. Are you ready? So, 54,000. The weight of the lions on my shoulder. Straight through, never in doubt. What can I say, Lawrence? We are now winning. Congratulations. Come on. Welcome to the real Australia. Behind us is the Great Dividing Range, which seems a pretty apt place to bring the all-new Range Rover Sport. And this magnificent gentleman here is Paul Shillingworth. Is this the true Australia that people often don't see? This place here is the most beautiful place. We're on a range, the Great Dividing Range, which is very important to the Aboriginal people. In the traditional days, how far would an Aborigine walk? Well, six to eight hours. So they just simply moved to wherever yeah. the food was. How many days would be, they be away? Months. Months? Months, yeah, moving around to different areas. Having sampled the delights of the Range Rover Sport, would you prefer to walk home or would you prefer us to give you a lift home, Paul? Go in style. Go in style. Yes. <laughs> I think on something like that, that is good. Never ever before have I had my own orchestra in the back. This is something totally different. Play on in the back, Paul. It's a rather fitting end to our epic adventure down under. We've just crossed the finish line at the famous Bathurst racing circuit. It is the perfect place to finish because uh, I think this car is a winner. You, of course, are a Range Rover owner of 10 years, but you're the traditional Range Rover. What do you think of the little baby brother now in new form, and could you be tempted to change? It's a fantastic car, and uh, well, I'm tempted now to uh, to change to the Sport. I mean, you know a lot more about these cars than I do, but certainly the weight uh, and the, you know reducing it by by nearly half a ton is you know is, makes it much more agile. I mean, if you think about the the essence of what a sport you know what a sportsman's all about, it's about being dynamic and having that agility as well to do you know to change and be flexible when when uh, when things change in front of you. And this car you know has all the attributes of uh, of a top sportsman. For me, it is the ultimate all-rounder. This has all the hallmarks of everything that's luxurious about the, um, you know, about the Range Rover, um, but obviously not losing anything or gaining massively in terms of its capability, performance-wise. 
The other thing I like as well is there are lots of similarities with its big brother, mm -hmm. the Range Rover, but there are also some really nice subtle differences. I love how they've given it a more sporting front centre console. It has that slope and also they've replaced the little dial knob for the gear change to a much sportier proper gear lever which will suit I think the enthusiasts a lot more. Yeah I think I mean if you're in a sports car you want to feel that you've got something to move it into sports mode and, and uh, you know that for me absolutely works and as you say the way that they've designed the middle console gives the driver and the passenger the feeling that you're in a sports vehicle that you're going to be moving around at, uh, at some speed. Everything leads you back to the simple thing that this is the car with no compromise. It's a car that will give you everything you could look for and several things you couldn't imagine a car like this could do. They've taken all the very best of what they've created over that period of time and they've put it into this car and they've added to it um, you know the innovation um, and the technology and the functionality that um, that's been driving Land Rover for many many years so you know they've they've put the very best of everything into this one car which is what makes it so fantastic. Lawrence it's been a pleasure because it, it started off really well at the Suncorp Stadium watching the Lions beat the Wallabies where we only got slightly excited and I nearly had a heart attack and that set the, the tone for this but I think that what we've seen over the last few days is two winners. Absolutely, two two very big winners. I mean, the Lions have done the business on uh, uh, at Suncor Stadium, and and this car, the the new Range Rover Sport, has done the business wherever we've taken it across Australia. I think that's a perfect way to end. Top man, thanks. Great Ken. time with you.